If you're new here, my name is Jennifer Malo. I do hope that you join us. That is if you are not subscribed as yet, we would love to have you in this family. That is if you enjoy the content that I share. By the way, we share financial content, career content, as well as lifestyle content. So if any of those tickle your fancy, please make sure that you join us by clicking that red subscribe button on the bottom. Now, with that being said, let's get into the point of this video. I don't want to make this video very long because I am in the office. So it's something to eat. So I want to make sure that by eight i'm done so that i can start working because i officially start working at eight this video is going to come before i post out the giveaway binders the for the selected winners i will be posting that off soon i think i'll be doing it on the weekend so on the weekend of this week it is the 16th today as you saw as i was changing the date it is the 16th so that means that on the weekend i'm going to do my best to make sure that i ship this to you guys and i'm going to be using pep for the for that so please bear with me i know that you may want to like really get those so that you can start working on them so i've got my budget book here i have my binder and then here we've got envelopes so we'll cash stuff based on the envelopes that we need we also have we also have the envelope for the december fund but from next month going forward i am not going to be doing this when it comes to December fund I'm just going to be very intentional in putting away the money so maybe a maximum maybe let's say per month I'll put away 500 or maybe 400 per month I'll just put it away on time bank because it is going to be the the last half of the year so I need to make sure that from June going forward I am saving for December and being active about it so that I know that in December we do have the funds ready so before we get into cash stuffing for this month I think it's very important for me to reflect so that i see if this is still worth it for me to continue doing so how did the cash stuffing for last month go i think it went very well as i shared with you guys on this other video where i was talking about the fact that now i feel so abundant i'm realizing that i come across cash very easy i feel i feel like i have a lot of money even though it's it's my own money i'll give you an example i don't keep all of the envelopes that i've cash stuffed in here because i carry this every day so to avoid carrying a lot of cash every day i leave some of my money back at home so i had budgeted for money for petrol i used majority of the money to fill up the car and then we're left with some money but for some reason i forgot about it so i put all of the envelopes back in my 
in my office for a long time like for the whole week i kept saying i want to do my nails but i don't have money i want to do my nails but i don't have money i don't have money you know i was actually very much con i was convinced that i didn't have money so this other day i go into my office just you know i don't know what i was looking for but i was not looking for money because i knew that i didn't have money so I go in there and then bam, I come across an envelope that has 250 and it turned out it turned out that it was the petrol money. I did not even remember that I had money. In my mind, I thought that I only had like the 100 rands that I had on my cash binder, which was like 250s. So when I came across the 250, I was like, oh wow, this is amazing. And it made me realize that when I was using cards before, when I would, when I would use cards to buy and to do all my transactions, it would be hard for me to hide money from myself and not that i was intentionally hiding this money because it's money that i put and then sometimes i forget about it it's very easy for me to forget about it and then when i find it it feels so fresh it feels like someone just gave me money even though it is my money and for that reason i was able to go and do my nails so for me that is why i just enjoy the cash budgeting system because i can tell you this if i had that money in my card some way whether i put it in because in my capital card i still have other accounts that i use to pack money but i pack money that i know is for debit orders that have to run end of the month you know but if i had packed that money some way trust and believe that i was going to use it i was going to remember it because there's just something about digital money that it just it's just in your face it's in your face and you find that when you strike when you're struggling for cash it's very easy for you to go to your banking app and see what do you have and then you use that but when it's cash and let's say for instance it's cash you left it at home and it's been like the days that you left it at home it's very easy to forget that you had money that you put away in your house because you're not carrying it all over you not you don't have easy access to it so that is why for me i love the cash purchasing system with that being said let us get into cash stuffing for the month of may so what i'm gonna do is i am going to open my budget for may so we've got our our may budget open and then i'm going to put these envelopes aside and then what you're going to do now is we are going to i'm going to take out this cash i withdrew cash yesterday so yesterday i withdrew 5800 and that is what i have here for stuffing for this month because that's how much i needed so i'm just going to separate these notes we are also going to take out all of this ones and we're going to put this aside and then we are going to start cash stuffing let me bring you guys closer so that you can see what i'm doing so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to unstuff whatever cash that we have in here and then this is going to go into the december fund we only saved 50 rands this month and so i'm just gonna put it in here So that's gonna go aside and that stays at home i never really carry that around okay now let us get into the envelopes that we need i'm just gonna take all of them and put them here <music> of transport <laughs> so we've got the bus we've got the uber we've got the petrol i don't use the bus as much now however i still do feel like i need to cash stuff for it just in case i do need it so maybe instead of making the budget for instead of cash stuffing what i had budgeted here which is 500 rands 
maybe I can make put 300 rands ne? and then maybe some of that money I can put into my fund or I can put into petrol we will see but for now but for now we have bus we have uber with petrol i also hardly take the uber as well now but i still feel like it's important for me to budget for those because i may never know when i need to take an uber it's always good to have money planned for these things so let us get into we'll start with the smallest one which is my fund my fund is budgeted uh 500 rents so we are going to put 500 rents in there so one one two three four five school is budgeted 200 rents so one two and by the way this money for school is just for miscellaneous things that come up when it comes to school requirements so you find that most of the every every week every week they have a science project and you find that some of the things that we need for doing the science project i may not have at home so when i have this money right here i'm able to just grab it and go buy whatever that we need for that science project so i keep this money for those reasons as well as sometimes if i feel like i want to give her cash which is something that i don't normally do but maybe once in a while i'll give her maybe 10 rents for buying something at aftercare i take from this money and then for bus we had budgeted 500 rands but i think because i had just loaded on the bus ne? i had just loaded on the bus i normally load 100 rands so and 100 rands takes me a very long time it takes a long time so i think instead of putting instead of putting 500 rands for bus i think let's put 300 rands so one two three And then for Uber, we are also going to put 300 red. Are these the new notes? Oh, okay. This is very nice, by the way. Let me show you guys. First time I came across a new note. This is nice. And this is what it looks like here. It reminds me of another currency. The way that it is, it reminds me of another currency. It's beautiful. It's beautiful okay for uber instead of putting 500 rands we're gonna put 300 rands as well so it's gonna be one two three i want this to be on the top okay now that we're done with that let's get into the things that need more money so i'm going to do this now. <music> now let us get into the weekly allocation as well as petrol but let's start with petrol for petrol we had budgeted 1500 so let's do that oh there's also another one Oh, I can't wait until the circulation of these more of these instead of these because this is pretty. This is really pretty. Okay. One, two, so we're going to put 1,500 on petrol. And I do need. Uh, I don't really need to fill. I don't need to fill up now, but soon I'm gonna need to fill up the car. For week one, we budgeted one thousand five hundred. So let's do that. Let's count that. So 
so we've got 1500 charm okay week three week two we budgeted 1100 so let's count that Okay, so we are done cash stuffing everything that we needed for this month. Now, let us see how much money we are left with from after we made adjustment on Uber and bus. So we've got one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. So when I look at this, what are the things that need to have more money? Now I'm going to add on my weekly allowances on my weekly allowances because I need I need to buy more toy. I need to buy like my skincare. So I'm going to add more money on my week one. Let me just put this here. So I'm gonna put more money on week one. So instead of 1,500, I think it's important that we have maybe 1,700. So it's going to be 1,005, 1,006, 1,700. So let me just put that in. Like I'm even out of my lotion that I use. So I'm just gonna slash that in there. And then where else am I going to add? I'm also going to add on week two. So on week two, instead of 1,100, we are going to have 1,200. Uh, 1, ne? Yeah, let's make it 1,200. Let's put this one. So. And then... The last one that we are going to add because we have 100 rands here i think i'm going to add on my fund petrol i think 1500 is fine if i do see a need to adjust on my petrol we'll do that next month Now that we are done with that i feel good and we did well on time even though we took longer than i expected but it's not bad so now that we're done with that i'm going to close off this video here but before i close it off some of the questions that i got on my previous videos is so what happens what do you do when you about ebucks so first thing first guys i do have fnb account but i also have capitec my main account is capitec fnb is just there for me to for me to pay for my some of my debit orders i don't really transact transact as much on my fnb account and so i've never really benefited from ebucks I, sometimes I gain them like when I'm buying on take a lot with my FNB account, but I've never really gained much on my ebucks and so I can never really say I can never really base base my decision on whether I use cash or card 
on points but if you're a person that you know that you like the ebugs you enjoy the ebugs you've been getting a lot of money through ebugs because you transact with your card on a day-to-day -day basis then obviously you will also obviously you will miss out if you use a cash budget but for person like me it's, it's really not it's not really a train smash it's not something that i think about it's not something that i'm even concerned about because it's not something that i've ever invested my energy in accumulating i've never really invested my energy in accumulating any sort of points even with capitec there are points and you find that i find there are savings that i get but i really don't care about them much when i see that money there I just move it to my transactional account and then I'll use it but it's not money that I can say oh it feels good when I have it it feels good when I know that I've gained so much points it doesn't it doesn't so if for people that were asking about the e-bags just know that for me it's not a concern it's not something that I worry about it's not something that I use it's not something that I become intentional about because I just I've never really benefited benefited for, from them and I've also never really used them that much even when I have them so with that being said I'm going to close off this video right here I hope to see you on the next one please take care and stay safe bye